What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris. That's Tom. Hey, guys. Guys, we are uh, Preachers Season 3, Episode 4, The Tombs. I almost couldn't say those words. Uh, we're back, guys. This will be a shorter video, so we apologize for that long video, but that was three episodes we were going through. Uh, Tom and I are back. We, we, we're watching this, we watched this episode. Uh, Tom, tell me what you thought. What, what overall thoughts of this episode? I would say good, not great, but you'd have to say good with some really cool slash funny moments kind of sprinkled in there. Uh, with a little bit of uh, plot movement going on too. Okay, yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, yeah. Big thing in the beginning is uh, what do we have? Uh, the Saint of Killers. The Saint. The Saint. The, the Beelzebub himself calls him into his office. Yeah, you know what's cool is, is uh, well, first you love the the music that they play whenever the Saint's on screen. Mm -hmm, I love, love that. that. Um, did you notice in the elevator? I'm sure you did. How could you not? Negative floors. I Negative floors, pretty... and it's there's also the nine. Those are the nine. Uh, levels of hell isn't that like dante's inferno yeah, yeah, right the yeah, night yeah. there were nine levels of hell yeah dan brown book i should be a scholar on that stuff. yeah seriously right um, and also hell looks pretty pretty damn good as far as like special effects go i thought it was look pretty good right? yeah i mean i think they made i mean t at first i thought it was a little cheesy but not cheesy but like weird like like something from the 90s like something we'd see in like a tv show in the 90s i thought but i think maybe they did that on purpose I don't know. Probably nothing they do is is accidental. Did you? Even, yeah. So. Did you? I I know I know I know you you know your your daughter's young, but did you get the? I feel like there was that reference to the floor is lava. You know that dumb thing that like a lot of the young kids do. Is that like the, It's a song. It's on YouTube. It's a game they play. The floor is lava because the floor was lava in his office. <laughs> Actually, I don't know that game. It's weird. The kids, my kids, do it all the time. They're always like, "The floor is lava," and it's I don't know, man. It's some, could be. It could be. Look, like we're old. Exactly. We don't we don't get half the half the stuff that's out right now. But nothing is accidental on the show. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, so this guy was cool, man. You said you had some thoughts about the devil. Uh, the devil was was uh, obviously I don't know what you would call it. Wisecracking. I mean, it it, it was. Ex exactly what you'd kind of want what you'd think the devil would be um in this type of show and, and going on reddit of course uh everybody's pretty happy with how he looks uh, i haven't had a chance to look and see how they thought he acted and the actor himself but who played actually, who who played them again jason douglas who was tobin on the walking dead and he was also on breaking bad I just oh don't remember what yeah was. okay okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah. But I, so I thought his, his face looked great. His body looked obviously like super fake. Um, and I was trying to figure out if he was actually had hooves. I think there were sounds of hooves, but you, they didn't really show it. Mm, yeah. But, uh, nonetheless, I thought that I thought he was uh, <laughs> pretty entertaining and pretty funny. And, and a, a wisecracking devil is kind of what you would, would expect in the world of Preacher. You know, I mean, I thought like, yeah, he did look a little over the top, but but. I thought that was great, though. Like, it was like, that's exactly like you said. It's like, that's Preacher. And I thought that was fun, man. I thought that was fun. He's, like you said, wisecracking. Um, well, he's treating his assistant. He's like, what, the, what do you say? Let the adults talk. He's yeah, like, yeah. But, 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 but she's the angel of death. Oh, he's so, he kind of, they did say that. He said that. that right. So I assume, like, that really is the angel of death. That's like, right. you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I mean, look, I thought that the whole thing was cool. Um, you know, they string him up and they're giving him lashes you know and you know we see at the i mean so that book ends the, the episode you know the the saint book ends the episode and obviously he gave him his 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 the justice he wanted was like you know i'm gonna you know he he knows that it doesn't hurt him like he's just doing it because he's like i feel like the devil's just like i just gotta do this anyway just so you know like i'm the one that's in charge you know and then yeah, he he didn't indicate whether he was surprised or not that he that he just he wasn't hurt at all. I mean, I thought that was pretty cool anyway. Yeah. The saint just didn't feel any pain. You know, I mean, he's getting chains through his hands, right? I mean, that that was that was that must be pretty painful. Well, I think he did at the end. You saw him start. He like, but then oh, when he right. turns around and leaves, it's literally down to the he's got bone. Nothing left. Yeah, he's got nothing left. Right. So like they were doing that basically. It's I I assume it was the whole time everything was happening during the show that we were watching that was happening. You know what you I'm know, saying? Like by the way, the Saints actor uh, Graham McTavish. Graham McTavish, right? yeah, is a Scottish so, dude. Yeah. Yeah, so he's an Outlander. I didn't know this all this time. I'm trying to figure out this guy's face looks so familiar. So he's an Outlander, which is some, it's another show that's another on right, Star Wars yeah. and, and produced over in, in uh, um, England, maybe. 
Or may, but it's filmed in Scotland. A lot of it takes place. He's a major character on that show. Okay. He's also in, he play, he's an outlander. Uh, not a, he's in Colony also uh, this past season uh, very shortly too. So he's just one of those guys. He's just he's a great actor. So I just Did, throw that out there. For yeah, everybody. no, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's perfect great. for this. He's perfect for this. And um, right. No, it was pretty good. Uh, yeah, so basically that's it. You know, he said, you know, we knew the devil was going to ask him. He's like, all right, well, you took your licking, and now I need you to work for me. Go back, go up, go up there. And uh, what did he say? He wanted him to get. Uh, well, that was yeah. If, you, if you're talking about, if you just, if we're talking about the two bookends as a whole. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm just. I want to just stay there for a second. And he Did, wants two people. He needs he needs to be brought back, and he hints to it. I just I'm too dumb to figure out who it was. <laughs> oh, it's it's um it's Ars face and. In Hitler. Oh, Hitler. Wow, yeah, I am pretty Yeah, dumb. it's going to be Ars face and Hitler because they left. All right. All right. Which, by the way, that was a fantastic scene last season. Real quick, just that, that scene where they're talking to the, oh, to yeah. the, the, um, uh, the ferryman. That oh, was and a, on the beach, getting that, out of there. That yeah. was amazing. Yeah. That was such a yeah. fun scene. That was such a cool scene. Um, What's great about the show is all these side characters, I think I said it last week, they're so... They feel usually, fleshed out. They feel yeah, fleshed usually out. Usually you're bored when it's like, oh, side character. I don't care. Like, let's just get back yeah. to the main. Like, they're more interesting than Jesse is. Way more interesting. You know, and they're, they're sympathetic towards them. It's great. Well, that's yeah, the thing. That. That's the beauty of it. Like, the show is... And so so from the comic, and, and, and you know, we have a bunch of viewers that are f- way ahead of the, in the comic, probably finished the whole series. I'm, I'm not. I'm only maybe a quarter of the way through. Mm-hmm. But, I mean... You know, from what I get, it's like the series is a, like these uh, these extra characters, like you said, those are the ones that really make the like flesh out the whole story. And Jesse just happens right. to be the linchpin to all that stuff. And so the show is, you know, the show is following Jesse and, and, and we're going to get to him in a second because he's obviously we get a big thing. This whole season so far has been je- like backstory, not just Jesse, but backstory. Like we're really starting to get backstory, you know, but. Yeah, and it, it's backstory. It's once again he's you know he's trying to do the right thing. Okay, right. So but let's jump. Nobody's you, yeah. privy to it. He still doesn't communicate <laughs> that to his people. He tries later on in front of everybody in the tombs, but like, once again they're in the dark and they kind of call, call him out on it again later. in, you know, Tulip at least. Yeah, but that's the you know? thing. Like, what do you like? Like, that's the thing. Like, he, he's just he doesn't. He's just. He just doesn't think. So when he so when he's a kid, he's with Sabina, who's Madame Boyd, right? And we see that she's got this this you know uh, budding you know clair, clairvoyant or souls business, not a clairvoyant, but she's it's it's the beginning of her she's business, at least right? Using her, her her skills to at least you know get some money doing palm right. So things. so we we meet her brother Kenny, and you know you know they're so they're hanging out Sabina and Kenny and and preacher you know Jesse. And mm-hmm. then Kenny goes out. She sends him out. She's like, "Hey, he'll be out there for a while. Let's, you know, let's fool around. Let's do our thing." And he's remembering what you know Jody's telling him. You know, was it Jody or was it uh, uh, TC? I think it was Jody. Was it Jody? I can't remember. But um, you know, say, you know, saying like she wouldn't last down there. She wouldn't there. do well down here, right? So, right. so what does he decide to do? Is be a dick? Like, they, yes, that works. But at the same time, like. Did he not? Could you not have just been like, "Listen, I really can't be with you anymore because I'm afraid of what my family will do." Like, you know what I mean? But then again, we get to see it later on when he does the same thing with Cassidy. Oh, but you know what? Too. I mean, I feel bad for her. Yeah. So you know, the yeah. whole thing is: first of all, we get some like Matrix style stuff with um, her sh- with uh, Tulip shooting the floor and them escaping. The <laughs> that was so silly, but cool at the same time. Yeah, it's like right out of a cartoon almost, right? I I saw that and I'm like, oh, she's got she's got the automatic, and yeah. then I'm like, she's gonna she's gonna shoot a hole, and she shoots a <laughs> hole, and then she does it. Like, who cares? Like, do it. Like, it's just fun. if they if you can do it, do it. It's fun. We are just along for the ride. So yeah. you're already suspending certain amounts of belief watching this show. So just keep going with it. I just I just found that amusing slash mm-hmm. like silly, silly but yeah. Just, yeah. Just, all right, that's fine. You know no what? Problem. It's it's and they these three main characters and like we said, all the other characters feel fleshed out, even though they're new, right? They feel even completely Boyd. fleshed out. Now we connect to Boyd because yeah. of because of her experience with Jesse. Yeah, right? and in, in an instant, two scenes, I think we all we automatically like her. And of course, later on, and you know when she's in the trunk all night, 
Uh, she just she, after being in the trunk all night, she like opens the trunk and she's like on her phone. She's on her phone. She called the boys, <laughs> told them not to come. Yeah, it. yeah, I love that type of stuff. It's, that's so, a, it's these little this little nuance. That's an interesting character, real quick. That's yeah. a she's an interesting character because she you know doesn't her in the seem... comics yet from where you are. Have you? No, I don't know, man. No, I haven't. I haven't. And you know, and to be honest, I started the comics right before season one of this started, which was two years ago. Oh, right. And okay. then, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of like, I, I kind of barely remember now at this point. I've got to, you know, um, I'm not even caught up on The Walking Dead. I'm still down two months on The Walking Dead, I think. Um, and Attack on Titan. Like, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to get up, to catch mm. up on. But anyway, point is, I really like that. I really like a character that's just like, they're in, a, they're in duress. They're in a shitty situation, but they're just still like chill. Like, I just like that. Like, that was so cool. It was so badass. She's still in there on her phone. Like, that's just, like... The it, violence, the... Proving the a point, you know? Life or death situations that these characters are in, they're all so comfortable yeah. being in these things. And, and just the, the blood and, and gore and guts. and. You know, let me ask you this real quick before we move on, because we do. I want to talk about Jesse and that whole Cassidy thing. But do you feel like we, you and I give this show a pass because we're just so into the, you know, the characters and the world? Do you feel like we're giving it a pass? Because I know I know people, you know, people people are turned off by things like this, whether it's nonsensical. You know what I mean? I, I love nonsensical. I absolutely adore it. So I don't know. You know, I feel, oh, no. so, yes, I do. And I'll tell you why. The reason why I give it a pass, because when I'm sitting down to watch Preacher, I know what I'm getting into. And I'm in the mood for nonsensical fantasy, crazy stuff that doesn't make sense. Um, maybe it makes me think a little bit. So I know what I'm getting into with this show. I'm suspending my belief, right? So I'm good, okay? I'm good with it. As much yeah, as I'm I hear you. that it could be boring at times, I'm good. If I'm looking for something, if I'm watching this show and saying, oh, that's not real, that would never happen, or that doesn't make sense. Well, why'd they do that? And yeah. Why you, you don't watch this show? You're watching the wrong show. Yeah. And that's why I think people get turned off by it. And that's why I don't want to get into this now, but shows that are niche like this it's a certain audience that's into this type of stuff yeah well that yeah it's only going to watch it so if you're not into this stuff you're not going to watch it this and that's a casual fan that's you know sort of thing yeah and that's the hard thing that's the hard thing to get you try to make your show i uh, you know accessible to many but all at the same time you have to please it's like you it's you like can't. adapting you know a movie from a book or vice versa and it's exactly what's happening it, here if you water something like this down to make it more appealing, you're ruining the source material. Absolutely. And you're going to piss those fans off that, that are loyal to the comic. Right. And, but then again, heard, it, doesn't, it doesn't even follow the comic as much right. as you yeah. think. Yeah. But the world is still intact and the things that happen are, are following that. So I'm fine with the world changing as long as the characters, if, if they don't, if they don't change for the better or in a good way, then you know. Then I'm upset. Like I want well, the characters to be the character. Well, so far our big three, right? I know we're getting off. Uh, we're going down a, a side road here, but I would say so far the big three are sticking true to what their characters are. And right. I, I want to talk about, uh, especially Cassidy later on. But Jesse's still trying to protect them. He's just not, you know, just not privy to how he's doing it. You know, Tulip is still gonna try to. Do what she can to save yep. Jess. She's very thick-headed, thinks she can beat anybody up. And Cassidy, I'll save it till later for the actual scene with the love potion. He's also staying true to so far what they've written him. No, you know be. what? No, let's let's go there since you're since you're talking about him because I got I'm I got a little bit a, a, a little bit of a bone to pick with that. So I think you and I talked last time, or we might have talked off camera at some point but the fact that how first scene first time we ever see Cassidy, he's taking out a plane of guys like he's just, he's decimating these guys right and then he falls to earth and he has to put himself back together we haven't seen that right and then we get to see a little bit of it here and i'm sitting here going you know but like he should destroy jesse and anybody else if yeah. you're going off that one Scene. yeah and it's like i get it and and, and and he's allowing himself to be treated like this but i think he doesn't care i think i think he's in a different point in his life he don't care he's just he's a because that's it he's allowing himself to do that he's allowing well, himself to be caught he's allowing himself to be beaten if this was a novel right 
they would have the time and the space on pages to thresh out that he's just that arc. He's yeah. in love with Tulip now. He just wants to get out of there. He doesn't really care about fighting. He's a million, he's 100 years old, whatever. Then we'd understand it, but it's a TV show. So it's hard for them to thresh all this stuff out. So maybe in the writer's room, that's where they are. And that's mm-hmm. why mm-hmm. he's not worried about being a crazy fighter. He just wants, right, he just doesn't yeah. care. You know? Yeah. So yeah, it could be. You're right, but so yeah. I, believe it or not, after I said that last week, now <clears throat> I've accepted that he's not a fighter. Um, I think, uh, according to the comics, he's not a good fighter anyway. Right. Yeah. So I just think that was just them doing a really cool opening scene to suck us in, because suck me in. Oh yeah, you know, absolutely. First episode. I loved it. Um, yeah. So I maybe I've given up on that. Yeah, so I I agree. I agree. I don't. I would. I hope he doesn't go down this like weird. But he's got morals. It's so crazy because he's he's got. He's a great guy. Like he's just a great character. Well, this is why. If you want to go there, I mean, he's sitting in the car at the end of the episode, yep. and he's got the love potion, and they they kind of hold that beat for a minute. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, please don't use it. That's not what you would do. I was saying the same thing. Yeah. You know, that's not what Cass- Cassidy wouldn't do. That unless this is a major character arc change mm-hmm. or. Um, then it would maybe make sense, but that's not what he would do. He'd, right. He wouldn't do that. He'd want her to love him naturally. Yeah. So I love that he didn't do it. I'm so happy that they didn't have him do it. I'm like, thank you. You're doing the right thing. So one of the things that, one of the many things the show does get right is even if it annoys us, the characters are sticking true to uh, what they've written for them so far. Yeah. And I, and I don't feel, and I don't feel like gypped or cheated from that. Like I, like I agree, you know, no. it's like, I was doing the same thing. I'm like, come on, man. You know? And then, uh, and then did he leave? Did he, did he, he got on the bus, he got but on there's the, bus. The, uh, the girl from the grail, I think. Yeah. The grail. The grail. Is that the one that shot? The yeah. I think She's so. the girl that yeah. shot her. And then they, they, that was the girl that they let go in episode two right right so i'm glad also to see which i don't know why i would even worry about this that his story is not over you know yeah um, this is only episode four there's 13 i looked it up last night there's 13 episodes oh yeah so, so we got a we got a good run through. yeah so um yeah so i mean just uh popping back to jesse real quick yeah once again he's he pulls the same old crap you got it you got it you know what i mean and she's just like you're an asshole and you know, she gets it, but she's also mad at it. And then, yeah, is he ever going to learn? Like, it's like, at one point, is he going to realize that he doesn't have to do that and he can let these people in? Well, she even says it later on when she comes back. Remember? She comes back and she's like, right? Because it was after the fact. And he's upstairs and they're in the bedroom, right? And she's like, like you have to tell me. She's like, yeah, she's like, you have to tell me. And he's like, okay, yeah, fine. Let me in. Let me in. So right. that might be a nice little turning point. I would love him to to let her in, you know, and let them go at it together, you know. So so I'm hoping this stubborn, dumb thing that Jesse's been doing on his own, it's gonna change a little bit, you know. I hope that well, I hope that's where it goes. Being that we're at episode four, only feels like we're going to reach the pinnacle of this particular story set. Mm-hmm. So I wonder. I'm kind of excited. Like, what's gonna happen after his grandma? I, sh- I mean, I don't know if she's gonna last all thirteen episodes unless they start filling in with our space and oh that'd be cool if they do get rid of her and then they do like another rest of the arc like what's the bigger what's the big oh well you got the saint again he's gonna have to run into the saint the saint still has his soul the saint still has his one percent i want to see the saint kill grandma that's what i want to see um yeah maybe it's a thing where they maybe hair star takes away although they did have his one percent though did he take the one percent from the from from the saint no, he doesn't know the saint. I want to see Hairstar against the saint. Oh, forget that, it. That'd be but, cool. But the saint doesn't have his gun. Oh, that's true, yeah. So He said he'd get his gun back if he gets those guys back. Right, so, so, so I think the fight's going to be a little... Whoever he's going up against, whoever he's, it's going to be a little more even because he doesn't have that crazy gun that could just you know go through a thousand layers of steel. And yeah. You know, okay, stuff. so so as we're wrapping up real quick, we, we have yet to see you know Hitler and... Um, and our face and what's cool is that i do like those characters i like that stuff with them it feels weird it feels weird to have feelings for hitler you know like because you think of you know the real adolf hitler was a was a you know a monster but like you know the, I, f- I forget the actor's name right now right off the top of my head right now but he's 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 amazing um 
I believe he's an Australian actor and he's he's so good. And I'm like, I I like this character, you know what I mean? It like he's like a misunderstood monster and um and then Ars face, you know, I'm interested. Out of all the characters, I'm the most I'm the, he's I'm least interested in him, but I am interested into where he's gonna end up. Right. It's still it's still when they're on screen, you don't you're not really moaning like, oh come on, man. Right, because it's very on. interesting. Ars face in the comic becomes a rock star. I wonder if they're gonna do something does like that. Does he ever get in the comic? Does his mouth ever Not get that I know of. No, it still stays like that. Yeah, and he becomes a rock star or some shit. Um, <laughs> of, course. of course he does. But of course, exactly. But you know, so I mean, so that's the thing too. We, we're still like I, I think I agree with what you're saying. We're gonna st- we're gonna finish out this little mini arc of some type, and then we're gonna because there's tons of other characters that we're gonna get to too. You know, they, don't forget they showed the Pope, the, the big fat Pope. They showed. And you have right. um, Humperdu still. Like, we have all that to get through. Like, there's a lot of stuff. And then there's a couple... If you look at the poster, there's, like, a bunch of other characters that we haven't seen yet, you know? just want to go back to Chastity. A couple quick points. Um, Did you say Chastity? Chast... <laughs> Did you say Chastity? Cassidy. Okay. Cassidy. <laughs> um, Jesse chopping him up and putting him in the box? What was he... Like, it's, it's this hilarious. Is what I'm it's like, it's that was so what, great. And he... Nothing. It's it's just like another day, you know, at the zoo. It's, he's chopped up. He's putting him in there, and he gets out, and he he tapes the stupid blade to his arm, and he like. It's crazy, and then he uses the skin suit to. to oh, there you go. That's it. Yeah, you can't forget about the skin suit. He's like when he's you mentioned about he was chopped up. He's like, that's the best way to escape. Is the skin suit. <laughs> that was, was good. Great. That was great. Cool. That was I great. To, I had to get that out. That no, was yeah, great. thanks. I so, totally like, forgot about good that episode. Right, really good episode. Like a good episode. Just yeah, good to very good. Yeah. With like these really cool things sprinkled in like that. I love that. Like That's I said, man, that. you know, I think I mentioned this someone in the, com- in the, in the comments, uh, for that, for the first episode we did, you know, they're really hit, they, they, they're hitting their stride. The characters are solid. You know, the action's solid. Motivations are solid. Mostly, you know what I mean? I think a little motivations are a little waning here and there for some stuff. And, you know, but Hey, listen, this stuff's not easy to do. It's not easy. You know, uh, you know, Seth and, and Evan, you know, they've done a, a fantastic job, uh, you know, bringing this and, and keeping this on point. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, have to have faith in what they're doing. And you know, faith. exactly. You know, unless unless it takes a, a ridiculous turn or does something like The Walking Dead where it's just like the motivations are completely off off kilter. Like, you know, I think I think I think it's going to be good, you know. So. Um, all right. So, look, I guess we'll we'll drop it there. Obviously, we missed the You know, we didn't talk about everything. Um, but we are trying to keep these a little bit shorter. So obviously, you know, get into the comments down below. Let us know what, what, what do we miss? Right. What, what do we, we miss? miss? Are, if what? you read, if you're into the comics, what Tell are we us. not getting? Wait, yeah. What are we missing? Yeah, Cause I'm the dumb guy that's only watching the show. Yeah. So, so, so let us know. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, uh, if you're listening to us on iTunes or Google play or Stitcher or something like that. Awesome. Uh, if you didn't know, there is a you know video version of this. And uh, you just get to get the third person pod on YouTube um, and then uh, at third person pod on all the social stuff, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, whatever the heck that, you know, you know, how you know how to get to us. You'll find it. It's easy. It's fine. So uh, thank you again for watching. We definitely appreciate all your comments and everything. So keep them coming and we'll see you on the next episode for Preacher.